Hi there, Coach Sage with sagerunning.com here with a quick uh, recovery tip video, some recovery uh, things that you could do after a hard workout or basically any run, but especially after a long run or a race or a intense workout, uh, it's really important to get your body uh, recovered for the next day or your next big workout. And so uh, the first thing you want to do, and I'll link to our nutrition talk video at the end of this video as well as uh, my girlfriend Sandy's channel. She has a bunch of really cool videos. Uh, as well on some of these exercises I'm going to show you in recovery, but uh, get in some some uh, calories and you know This is a sponsor plug. This is a a nutter you go bar you go bars.com uh, great source of uh, carbohydrates protein fat uh, It's basically like a tastes like kind of like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. It's got uh, all sorts of, of nuts in it, uh, kind of whole foods approach. If you don't have a bar in hand, uh, maybe you have uh, energy uh, packet Energy Gel. This is another sponsor plug of mine. <laughs> MySpringEnergy.com. Enter code Sage uh, for a 10% discount. But you know this is a great source of carbohydrates. It's actually made with basmati rice and mango uh, mint. It's got a little caffeine in it uh, from coffee beans, uh, as well as sea salt and. Uh, coconut water, stuff like that. So, you know, you're getting in some calories right off the bat. Then you go into a stretching routine. And again, I've done a whole video, uh, you can check out my basic stretching routine, which is some light stretching after the run, uh, kind of to loosen up. Uh, but then after that, we're gonna get into more specific uh, muscle types of things that you could do with some tools. And I'll show you this. Some of these are sponsor plugs, some of these are products I got for free. Uh, full disclaimer, uh, but I'm not sponsored by all these products. Uh, but these are some strategies that you could use, especially if you have some muscle tightness or muscles, aches and pains, and just to generally promote uh, blood flow and, and let the body kind of heal itself after these hard intense sessions. So you're building yourself up, you're building your strength up, and you're minimizing the risk of injury. But let's get started. All right, so the first recovery uh, tip that you could use, uh, some of you may be familiar with uh, rollers or uh, kind of massage sticks, so to speak. This is called the Copper Sager or Copper Sager. Uh, link to it there, again, not sponsored. Did get this uh, to test out, but it actually has a copper uh, copper tube basically is full of a fluid that you could put in the freezer. So if you want, uh, you know, cold friction therapy, uh, you could use it kind of as like an ice massage. And then if you also just uh, glide it across your calf muscle, across the solus, gastronemus, uh, even before a run, it kind of works to actually heat up, transferring uh, heat. So hot or cold therapy. Again, it's just it's. Uh, like a copper bar, um, specifically designed for runners by runners, and a great tool uh, to massage trouble spots like uh, the calf, but you could also work it in other parts of your leg, uh, IT band, quad, just kind of gliding it up like that. Um, and you could push down pretty hard and get a pretty intense uh, stimulus there. So it's basically like giving yourself a self massage, but a lot of people have trouble with the, the calf and the Achilles. Uh, Achilles tendon problems kind of stem from having tight calves. It can even cause plantar fascia problems on the bottom of your foot if you have pain or not there. A lot of times that's caused by tight, tight calves as well. Uh, but the IT band is also very tricky on the outside of the knee. It gets irritated there. Tight quads, uh, stuff like that. So you just glide that. And again, you can put it in the freezer as well. Great uh, for after a hot run in the summer probably, but it's just one option. All right, so if you want the ultimate in luxury comfort and uh, basically a full type of leg massage, you're using uh, this rapid reboot system. Uh, this is uh, similar to what I used once at a gym. Uh, they had something, it was a competitor brand actually called Norma Tech Recovery Boots. Some of you might be familiar with those, but this has now become uh, a home recovery system that you could use. I've been using it uh, nearly every night. It's nice, relaxing, uh, full leg massage. You basically put your uh, legs in these boots. Uh, again, this is the Rapid Reboot product. Uh, and it uses basically compressed air uh, using this modulator here. Uh, you could set different modes. I usually do a 30 minute uh, massage in mode A. You could set the degree of compression as well. But uh, they basically inflate. And I usually, you know, do this when I'm watching something on Netflix or doing work on the laptop, just relaxing. Uh, a great way to kind of flush out, move around the lactate in your muscles 
after uh, a really hard long run or after a race, uh, things like that. But very comfy option uh, if you're interested. Rapid Reboot, I'll have the link in the, the description below. Again, uh, this is kind of a, a product review uh, for them as well. But definitely uh, the most important thing is probably to look at our stretching routine uh, that we did. Um, and you should probably do that nearly every day. I stretch not for very long, but I do stretch uh, after most days as well as uh, your nutrition, getting in calories right away, staying hydrated, uh, things like that. And then working on the leg muscles, working on these little kinks, as well as some exercises that you could do. And I'll link, at the end of this video, I'll link to uh, one of Sandy's videos on some routine stuff because you do, it's a matter of strength and flexibility. Uh, to help prevent injury and to help prevent pain, especially overuse pain, because running is such a repetitive motion type of sport. Uh, that's why people tend to really get injured a lot, is because you're doing the same motions over and over, and it's very stressful. It's very stressful on the body. You're landing with two to three times your body weight uh, with each step, so having uh, proper gear, proper shoes, but also proper recovery uh, techniques and methods uh, is really essential to longevity in the sport. And again, uh, knock on wood somewhere, <laughs> This is a drywall. Uh, there's no wood around here. Oh well. Uh, 20 years of running in the sport for me and running at a pretty high competitive level with lots of 100 plus mile training weeks and I've never had an overuse injury that's knocked me out for more than uh, two weeks at a time. So, uh, you know, part of that's genetics probably, part of that's uh, being conservative with your training, but part of it's just doing all the little things, a uh, little recovery uh, methods and, and nutrition and, and things like that. So. Uh, I really do believe in these products and I wouldn't show them uh, if I didn't think that there was some benefit to them. So uh, that's my spiel on the recovery modalities. Again, you know, you could find uh, your own methods and your own techniques and, uh, and just try to, you know, minimize the risk of injury and overuse and be aware of your body, be aware of what hurts and what feels tight and how your form is, uh, things like that, so. All right, so that's just uh, my basic video on some recovery modalities that you could use to help minimize uh, muscle soreness, uh, muscle strain, relieve some of that tightness, and hopefully improve your efficiency, reduce the risk of injury so you can enjoy your training more and get amped up for your next hard workout or long run or race, so. Uh, again, you know, the other thing with the nutrition component is to stay hydrated. I drink uh, this electrolyte fluid from my sponsor, myspringenergy.com, uh, Electro Ride it's called. It's got salt, uh, Himalayan sea salt in it, as well as uh, some apple. It's a light apple juice flavor, so good with sodium and potassium. Uh, definitely want to stay hydrated. Of course, after a race, I like to always celebrate and go to the beer tent as well. Uh, but eat in, get in those calories, uh, all sorts of calories, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, uh, things like that. And yeah, just uh, make sure you uh, take care of your body after such a hard effort because it's going to take a while uh, to bounce back and you definitely don't want to get injured or have uh, a debilitating setback in training or something like that. But again, thanks so much to all the Patreon viewers. Thanks so much to my title sponsor, Hoka One One, uh, for making this running dream and these videos all possible. Thanks to all you guys for watching on here. Uh, be sure to share this video and like it on social media if you like this uh, type of video and comment below. Uh, again, link to our uh, nutrition talk that I did recently up there as well as uh, one of Sandy's videos. Sandy's got some great routines on her channel, Running Wild to Believe. Uh, you can check all those out and our coaching website, sagerunning.com. We sell training plans uh, from 5K all the way to 100 miles, uh, road half marathons, marathons, things like that. Uh, definitely you can check that out. And thanks so much, guys, and stay tuned for more Sage Running videos.